Welcome back to the race. This is week 173, day two. And we do have some uh, replays to watch, but first we'll do our battle. Yeah, we got about eight minutes. All right, we have a Julius. Okay, an all healer team. I always wanted to do one of these ones myself, but pain. Uh, yeah, I don't have any null see disrupt, so there's that. But I think this team can handle it since there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, mystic boosts, except for some reason when a beer doesn't have it. I always give her mystic boosts. For player facing, it's a little scary, just because getting. Eric over here, I'll have to go one, two, and three, hit Nana, then I'll only be able to return one, two spaces, which definitely not ideal. Um, there is, since there's no far save on any team, uh, Fjorn? Doesn't really have no C on anything. And this is Brave. Mm, yeah, we'll go with this team. Good morning. Who has one heals? We have one restore, two restores, and a return. So I think we'll put you right here. You right here. And then we'll just let the two of you handle. I bestow my blessing. Tread carefully. We must end this. Good morning. Are you certain? Death's caress. If it comes, we also have air. So. Yeah, I mean, that does give me triangle of death, but the, technically the only unit that I have that that will affect would be like Grima. Because he's in a colorless time, but. I mean, it is a little on the annoying side just because I do have to be careful not to kill anything, not to kill anything, no, not to leave dangerous stuff well. running around like Forgive horses me. that can easily reach your back line but other than that this doesn't Forward. it's not very difficult Seems that I only have one. Yes. Right, boss. The glimmer of life. Like this. Yeah, this team is. Well, my team is strictly designed for something like this. Can easily counter it. Here, yeah, we take a flame. Ha! I mean, it is a nice team. I do enjoy it. But I don't think it's so. what you would call right, threatening. Hmm. 
Guess we can do it like this. It will be done. The choice is clear. I mean, that Linger can hit pretty hard. Like this. Mm, maybe this way, if you say so. Tread carefully. I bestow my blessing. He's gonna go after Nod, of course, but I mean, not Nod, Dagger. Alright, and that's pretty much it. Air can just take her out. Um, that's it, right? Nothing weird, nothing forget. Yes. Nope. Alright. Take a Link Heart. Very cool, very cool. I like it. But yeah. Not very threatening. I mean, I guess it deals with good with like far safe tanks that are not named Ascended Fjorm. But yeah, uh, so we got two successes as opposed to yesterday's three failures. Um, this one counted, this one of course didn't. So we'll take a look at this one and um, you tell me what their plan was. I was actually... Um, I am... Ex um, how do I say this? I, I am actually very interesting how a bike team would do in 2022. But first, let's see. We have an air. Uh, attack resident, which comes, Wings of Mercy, Speed Resolo. A plus six, plus one, Reinhardt with like no seal, just very weird Reinhardt. Only a plus three bike with DC, no C, and no seal. Lucina with Distant Guard, Drive Rest, Wings of Mercy, and Shove. Peony, Triangle of Death, Wings of Mercy, Herbatics. And finally, Ash. Just ash. Uh, so yeah, I mean, only a plus three is kind of sad. But yeah, you tell me what their plan is as you're watching this because they do something very odd. So here they have hair break that, then you try to save her, but yeah, hair just becomes crumb food. And then after that, I think they just stop playing because. You just see they do nothing. So Dimitri takes out their ash and then backs away. Then Yune just obliterates poor Spioni. And yeah, they just enter. But yeah, uh, I don't know what their plan was by having air destroy that. Maybe it was a misclick and they were trying to go after the pod. But not exactly sure what their plan was after that. Like, so yeah, so this takes out Ike. And then Chrome just takes out his own daughter. Father, I'm sorry. 
even though she had triangle attack. So yeah, not sure what their plan was there at the beginning. Now this one's a little more interesting. I mean, I say more interesting, but it's just a fallen Edelgard, but let's start with Dagger. Um, Dagger is reposition, Gale Force, Flashing Blade. Air, just smite bot with chill defense. Peony, um, daylight, chill attack. Mospo, defense pain, and they still keep his ARD defense rest for some reason. Ash with War Beast, Pivot, and Ether, plus two. And then we have this plus 10, plus 10 summoner supportive Fallen Edelgar. Shove, Distant Defense 4, AR Far Save, and Mystic Boost. Now, how do we take this Fallen Edelgar out? Yeah, you're about to see what's... So, of course, that Fallen Edelgar is going to get hit by everything. Because, look at those stats. So, first she's going to get hit by both Bright and Dark Shine. Which, for the Dark Shine... Um, she does neutralizes bonuses, so at the least she has that defensive going on for her. So, of course, Fallen Dimitri has a windsweep effect. Huh? Not, which just gets killed through her damage reduction. And then in comes Chrome. Dead Eye. One shot. In unmerge, uh, minus attack, Chrome, just one shot, a plus 10, Fallen Edgar. So yeah, definitely did not expect that to happen, but that's what did I. Even though technically she didn't have any damage reduction because Dimitri had already taken her away, her damage reduction is just did I been able to one shot her. All right, so we are returning over to the next day. So let's see how most of you did for the second day. Oh, Yakiomi on first place. I like to see it when he changes like somebody different at the top. Promise, uh, Brablets, Oran, Lambres, Kako, Mad. Damn, we're scoring pretty low if we're this far down. Uh, ICLA, Michael, Diego, Dark Luster, Neo Sourceman, Kitsune, Dogs, Logan, Eva, Silver, Amethyst, Bean, Allen, so the, um, I didn't talk about it yesterday because I forgot about it, well, last video, Boating Gauntlet is on the final date. Azura versus Corin. Azura has been at the top for uh, most of the time, like at least every time I try to play, it's been Azura, so that's why I haven't had a chance to spend my flags. But yeah, I think this was the most expected outcome going into this Tempest. Um, Tempest, no. Uh, Boating Gauntlet for the final to be Corin versus Azura. Uh, it's anybody's game, I guess. Um, we either get Ninja Lin 2.0 or the best calf dancer in the game. Way, way better than Sigur. So yeah, I mean, one of these two is going to win and one of these two is going to be the free unit we get. Uh, but then again, we're going to have that all green banner. Uh, we'll actually look at how the last map last match ended Corin not so much I mean pretty close 18 A64 to 18725 but Azura just crushed by left 27 to 22 there was just no hope for him and I just think that's mostly because of everybody who initially went for Azura for support against Edelgar it just created such a discrepancy between her team and everybody else's teams that 
Azura just has such a big, um, not popularity, I'd say, like, support lead over everybody else right now. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it. So, all we're doing is waiting for the update that hits in, like, three days, I think. Uh, we'll see what Legendary Azura's refine is. I am excited to see what her uh, refine is going to be. But other than that, um, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.